All right, asteroids. Uh, one of the things about this asteroids program, I didn't see a point in programming in using degrees only to have uh, rotate, convert to radians every frame for every object that's being rotated. So uh, it does it directly in radians. And there is no conversion back and forth between degrees in every frame. I feel that should uh, let the program run a little bit faster than it otherwise would. I don't really notice a difference, but I'm sure if it was a large-scale program, there would be a difference. Uh, I'm going to build a release version now. Here's the release folder of this project, codename Zusa. Come up here to build. I don't really see the difference between a release and a debug version. They both seem to require the Microsoft Visual Studio C++ redistributable to be installed. They both require glut32.dll to be in the folder with the executable, but uh, apparently there is a vert difference of some kind. That's building now. There it comes. Here we have the ship. A little beep when you kill something. Bullets and asteroids have ontological inertia. There is... If you go fast, you get faster bullets. You'll notice there's a score and a high score. Oh, I'm out of bullets. The saucer is triggered by the score being divisible by 50, or evenly divisible by 50, which zero happens to work for that. That's the last of my lives. Bullets and asteroids remain. They do not disappear like they do in Skeet. If the asteroids remain, then the bullets should as well. Notice that between the score and the high score of this particular life, I wasn't able to bring the high score up any. And that's the game.